Good evening, late night money. No headset, straight voice to laptop here from the hotel in San Antonio. What do you say, everybody? How are you today? Um, gonna have a drink here. I've been doing a couple shows. I should have had that beforehand. So give me a second. Drove on out to the pub, to the pub party, Southtown, great burger at Southtown 101, bacon cheeseburger, fantastic. Nice wings as well. No complaints about the wings. I can't have complaints about my terrible college basketball today. We can start there. I'm not going to... Uh, is, is the Sanford game final? Let's, you know what? I didn't even, I'll tweet these out in a second because I don't have the Twitter thing open. I'll uh, put them on my phone. I'll put them in a chat right now here in the comments section here. Do, 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 do. All right, so where do we start here? Let's start in the video. South Carolina. Terrible. Uh, Nevada, are you kidding me? 24-4, you get that scored? All right. Oakland was a winner. Uh, Texas Tech, Colorado, losers. A 1-4 day. A 1-4 day. 66-38. and 38. Um, That's not going to get it done going 1-4. No, um, what do I say to that? I, and I started out good. I had Michigan State, right? And then all downhill, Nevada, McNeese, Texas Tech, Drake. I had Drake. I mean, Drake blowing a game. I, I could live, you know, South Carolina, sure. Colorado State, you're down 24-11. It was 14-11. I can't even you, – you were bad. Texas wasn't that good. You couldn't play any worse. Nevada and Drake, I mean, that's – it swings from a terrible day to it would have been an, all right, we move on to the next day. Not meant to be. Not meant to be. Dogs, nope. Favorites, nope. They want money. What am I going to do? On to tomorrow. We got plays. Oh, I, didn't, I thought I had them scrolling here. They're just in the chat. I apologize. Uh, I didn't add it. Well, I did have ads. And I tweeted them out uh, on Twitter, and then, uh, it was late. But if I'll show you here, because I, I typed them in here, because I thought I was going to do a show. I was hesitant because I had some home problems, but I put them all up in here for today. I just didn't get to tweet them out ahead of time. But I'm going to take my L's. Uh, tomorrow, UAB. I haven't changed. Duke. Duke under, Houston first half team total, Texas A&M. We'll see how we do. Again, I'm frustrated. Usually I don't get all high or low, right? But the Nevada game, come on. That just sets me back. Because that was my big game. I like that. That was my favorite game today. Them and uh, Drake, both of them went down. McNeese, Sanford, I get a split. I, I, that's fine. Uh, I'll take those numbers uh, because I thought the lines were there with the world. Like tomorrow with uh, James Madison. I got a bad four and a half on it. I'll always bet those. I'll always bet them. I won't, I won't uh, make any excuses when they go down. It's the number. I play it, and that's that. Lock it in with the king is in the house. Nick Dan says, I clean them nice. Wait, Nick, you've seen me with the... With the collar on. Wearing the collar tops before. I, it was funny. I, I was doing um, late night sports grade rage, sports rage with Gay Morrissey. And uh, he's like, look at this guy with the collar. <laughs> it's like fancy. I said, eh. I think, I think people notice the white collar more than if I had the black shirt on. I, I even got the wedding ring on today. 
I come out. Got to look fancy. People know that I'm not a total savage and that I am a little domesticated with the wife and kids. Nick Nancy saying hi to the king. Corey Jones, my guy. Corey, it's been a minute. Corey Jones, those of you who do not know, first comment ever in the Midday Money Show three years ago when we started the Midday Money Show. It was a Midday Money Show. It wasn't a late night. It was actually a late night money show. And it was just called, we didn't have a name for it. it was, I don't know exactly called it, but Corey, I appreciate you popping in again. Good to see you, my friend. Hope all is well. Everything is going good for you. And I appreciate you, my friend. Thank you. King D says, three no day. Take the three no day. Just, you know, I'm me, King D. I like, I'm volume. I'm going to fire all over the joint, right? We are uncontrollable. Could be three games, could be eight games. It is what it is. No. Take the three and oh. There's a Facebook page for our guy, Mr. Wild, Dennis Wild, uh, Dennis O'Brien, Rick Wild, Abel, Brio. Where is Brio been? We need a Brio sighting. There's the Sean Higgs YouTube. Be sure to follow because next Thursday for Major League Baseball opening day, uh, three o'clock, we'll roll on some kind of live show for a little while. You don't want to miss out on that. I'm going to put up like 50 baseball props for you just to drive everybody crazy. Oh, there's the YouTube 305 Canes down. Stanford's got the cover. Thank you. I was worried it gets close. And the way things went with like Nevada and Drake blowing games. And I said, you know what? This is going to go to OT or it's going to be three and we're going to foul and we're going to lose this by eight. I'll take the cover. Take the cover. Long as it's official. 9389. I'll take it. I will take it. Thank you. King D says, What's good, Nick Nasty? Lando's in the house. What about Stanford Falcon? Well, I did not see the end of the game. Don't have the TV on. I was doing a show and then I popped into Dave and Earl's channel for a little while. As you can say, money line. Shout out to Tom Izzo, King D. I listen, I liked I, I said yesterday with Michigan State. And probably during the week. I think I said it on the tournament show on Sunday. This team was 19 and 14. Thought of why are they even in the tournament? Not a playing game. They get a nine seed versus an SEC team that beat Tennessee twice. Played in the SEC. It's probably a little better than the Big Ten. And yet we're and they, and we're favored on top of it. Abel checking in on Facebook. Thanks, buddy. So, yeah, nice win. Nice win. Had a great night. Dayton, NC State, and Duquesne. I I was – didn't like – I mean, I was on the other side of two of these, and Duquesne, I didn't play. Good job, Nick. I was not sold on NC State at all. And Oakland. Oakland money line. There you go. I like to – I had the Oakland first half. I probably should have took the points. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know why. Like tomorrow, like I got the games. I, I, I want to – do more. It's like, ah, oh. but off a bad day and I'm not going to force anything. I already have what? One, two, three, four, five, six bets in already. We're seven bets. We're ready to go. King D says, nice. Just sweat in my Gonzaga and Kansas money line parlay. <laughs> there you go. It's a nice winner there. Okay. We're getting fancy. What is a example? <laughs> Ralph Lauren sponsor. Gio, come on. I rock. I've been rocking the, the collared shirts lately. We got the white shirt. We got the black shirt. We got the blue shirt. And I got that kind of grayish black one. That's four. Although I have two blacks and two whites, so it's really I have enough for seven days. Landers and Stanford made you cry. Who did you have? Do you have Kansas Lane? Seven? Uh, tomorrow's another day, Higgs. Got your weekly sub in Higgs, which I appreciate. 305 Canes, thank you for subbing. It, you know, it is another day, but, you know, some days I, you know, I'm not going to lie, you get annoyed some this. Um, I don't mind losing. I'm going to lose. I bet a lot of games. If you're going to bet, you're going to lose sometimes. Uh, losing, uh, like, the Nevada game. I mean, that's that's a frustrating loss. Drake getting blown a lead. I just don't like those. That's a, Those are tough ones because those are just huge swings. That changes the whole outcome of the day. Changes the outcome of the day. A loss is a loss. You lose bad like that. You're like, you got to be kidding me. Uh, and he says, only cash a nickel today. Well, 
There's nothing wrong. If you don't want a nickel, I'll take it, Nathan. Let me know. I'll give you an address. PayPal me. Whatever you want to do. Don't be upset. Make your money. Great job with Oakland Moneyline, Caparis. I, King, you know I've said this about Calipari. I don't think he's a good coach. The talent is there. The talent is for sure. They, as great as Oakland played, guy hit 53 pointers. Kentucky was in that to win it at the end anyway. He does not coach. Oh, great. I got a bunch of NBA guys. That's fine. Um, you can teach them how to play as a team. No. You're not going to ever see a, a zone play before? No, don't know how to work, how that works. I did. Kyle Parry. What are they? One in, one in four, one in five now? They won in four one or one in five in their last four or five NCAA tournament games. Oh, oh, they got NBA guys. Yeah. Can't can't win a game. Uh King Nevada game was brutal. I watched the entire game and Nevada had all I so I'm at the the bar with the guys and Nevada hits a step back like fall away three to go up 16, 17 points. And then was like, it's over, Nevada won. I'm like Oh boy. And so I leave. I gotta come check in the hotel. And then I come back. I said, oh, what the 6360? What happened? I thought I had a winner. I logged on. I'm like, what? Hold on a second. My account I had to do a refresh. I thought I put the wrong game in. You scroll, where is this at? You kidding me? Uh Nathan, UAB plus the eight. I uh, would say yes. I got them right here in the chat. I got a plus seven. And this was from when I put these games up on, I think, Sunday night or maybe. It was probably on Monday I put these games up. Exactly. Yeah. So, so you have Sprinkle on Grambling State. Oh, oh. So I think Purdue wins. I think they do cover in this opening round here. I do. I think it's um, the better teams are that much better than these kind of playing games. That's why we're seeing these big – I mean, the old days, you go back to like the 90s, maybe early 2000s, you'd see the one seeds like 35, big, big spreads. Now you, we, we seen, we've seen them less than 20 sometimes. Now we're getting into those mid-20s again. And I think it's warranted. I mean, as much as oh, Purdue's a choke team, they lost, what, four, three games regular season and four with the postseason. That was an overtime game. Uh, the Northwestern game was a close game. I mean, this is a really good team. I don't – Grambling is not going to – I know people will be like, oh, you just take them. No. They will win this game by 40. The next game is where I worry about them. If it's a close game. Right, we saw Tennessee. People were like, oh, Tennessee can't do it. Yeah, the game was over early. This game's going to be the same thing. Go. I mean, do I want to tell you to lay 20, 25, 27, whatever it is? No, I don't even know what the line is. It's enormous. Um, Purdue rolls here. Don't throw money away on, on, on Grambling. The next game is where you want to maybe fade them and maybe do a sprinkle. Because if they're in a game there, that's where I think it comes into a problem. That's where it gets in their head. And as I said before, an extra pass, an extra dribble, you hesitate to shoot and you kick it out or you, you bounce off your thigh. Next round, not this round. They, they, they are not – and nothing is a lock there. It, it, I'd say I'd shave my head, but I'm already bald. I don't want to shave my eyebrows. So who knows if they'll ever come back. But I'm, I, they, they do not lose to Grambling. And I'm not one of those cats, well, I'll lay 4,000. You know, I'm not that guy. But – I think they win. The next game is where you want to do something like that, though. Uh, King D. Higgs, I know you ate good tonight. What was on menu? Uh, no, I did <laughs> eat good. I had the uh, I had a nice bacon cheeseburger with pepper jack. It was really good. Uh, this is right. I'm not a big fry guy, but it came with fries. And I ordered some uh, just some uh, dry rub wings. I had some wings. How about Yukon Huskies? I think Yukon blows them out. You can first half same with same with Houston. I just think you want to do team total on these guys. Uh, I, 
I think UConn, Houston, Purdue, I think they put up 50-plus in the first half. For, I mean, their team total is anything less than uh, 45. I think it, they think they score 45 easy. So, all of them. All of them. So, is that it on the comments? Not much in the comments, section. It's late. We're an hour after 12, 1 in the morning on the East Coast. So, UAB tomorrow. Again, losing day. We went, what, 1 and 4 in the video today. Or not in the video, but the, the plays were posted ahead of time. So, you said these. Like tomorrow night we'll have lines for Saturday and Sunday games. Although I could have added Saturday's games to this. Because I did look at a couple of Saturdays. What do we got here? Where is Saturday? I thought I wrote them down somewhere. Here we go. So I'll give you a quick little. Yeah, I love the wings. So these are some. There'll be some NIT mixed in here. I'd like North Texas plus the four. No opinion on Cincinnati Bradley. Uh, Norfolk in Alabama, and m and uh, Ohio State at home. Sure. Sure. You want to go over to 150? Absolutely. NC is given four to Michigan State. And we're going to look into, or people will be like, wow, I can't believe it's a, a such a short line with this one seed. Well, Michigan State's not your typical nine. Talent-wise, it's elite talent, bad season. Um, I don't know. I kind of like North Carolina. But the four, like why? I thought, you know, six. I'm interested, with the, I'm interested to see what this number does overnight and into Friday, where it goes. Because I want to take North Carolina, to be honest with you. Uh, Illinois to Quesney. Uh, like Illinois, I think you just do Illinois team totals because they get to score. So I don't worry about the 10. I don't want to worry about the over in case Duquesne, you know, shot their shot. I don't know what they got in the tank here. Um, Illinois team total, I could do that. Uh, Creighton minus five over Oregon. Again, this would be an over game for me. I like Creighton. Not an Oregon guy. Nice game today. Okay. Um, again, sign me up for some Creighton here. Maybe, maybe over as well. And Arizona, I saw nine, nine and a half and tens over Dayton. I don't know if I want to trust Arizona only in 10. If I could get 10 with Dayton, anything in the double digit range, I'll take a shot on that. I will take double digits, not less, not less than. And I'll tell you an over too. I mean, I think we see them scoring at 149. Again, that was just a quick little glance. Nothing like wings, wingy, wingy, chicken dinny. We got a little Mexican tonight. I can't nothing wrong with Mexican. I like a little Mexican Tex-Mex. I can do some tacos I enjoy. I'm not a big enchilada guy. I put that nasty sauce on top. I'll just take the straight tacos. Stop you. You're welcome. Purdue wins big. Says Black Boy. Is it a dolphin at the end? I can't really tell. I agree. I think Purdue rolls. Baylor as well. Baylor and Duke, I think, beat up Vermont and Colgate. Those are not like old Vermont and uh, Colgate teams that have beaten – like power five, mid mid level power fives. They're not good teams this year. They're not they're not not as good as past versions of themselves. I would definitely lay with Baylor and Duke. I'm not as good as I once was, but I was good as but I, but I was good once as I ever was. What were you writing? Reading cards now for Hallmark, Jesse? Let's see. Oregon NC State, I got killed. What are you talking about? It's Jesse, you're coming in off a 2-0 day, and you're going to come here and, and make jokes that you had a bad day? Come on. That's not nice to do. That's not nice to do, especially when I'm on the other side of those games. Toby Keith. Who's that? Is that a singer? South Carolina and Texas Tech. No, okay. Oh, all right. Now I say we're safe. So Oregon State and NC State. I was like, all right, I was on the opposite of those. I was with you. And I, I, I will still go down with the South Carolina train. No, and like for a spot like that, Jess, and I think you'll agree. 
the team was disrespected the entire year. It still won 25 games. It still covered nine of its last 12 in SEC play or whatever it did. So them being a pick em or one point fave wasn't shocking to me. They were they got zero love or respect from the bookmakers ahead of time. So you're not getting any tournament. I that's fine. But uh, bad performance. Bad performance. Dude, my low bows minus super bill. I sure as heck hope so, Nathan. But I if if you're not worried, if you're a Mountain West guy, and I got I got New Mexico, I got Utah State, I mean I Colorado State, I had UNLV over uh, Princeton the other day. I like UNLV on Sunday at home over, uh, I think they have BC. I like them over BC, four and a half. But the Colorado outing, terrible. Or Colorado State, I should say. They looked horrible. Nevada blowing the lead looks bad. New Mexico, Utah State, and and I don't even I, I mean I like UAB over saying all those teams better win because you're never gonna get what you guys got here with all your bids. It's not happening. It's not gonna happen. Nope, you blew it. Feels like the public won today. I you know, it's one of those I don't know, Jess, right? Because were they taking their McNeese's and tomorrow they're gonna have their Madisons and um Who's the other? Grand Canyons, right? You'd think that they had Gonzaga or Kansas because they're bigger schools with, with shorter spreads. I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I know the – oh, you got to follow these public numbers. I don't know. That's why I like to do my stuff on Sunday before everybody's nonsense comes into play. They can win a day. They're going to win a game or two. There's 32 games in two days. They're going to win some. Uh, Kindy says Oregon money line shot up 30 cents. I'm surprised they won. I, I'm surprised they won because I didn't think they were good all year. And the thing was, well, you know, they were injured and getting guys back. Okay. You're getting guys back. Now you got to work guys back into a, a rhythm and messing up a full. I, I, again, I didn't like them. I, you think the Pac 10 is, I mean, I had Drake blowing the lead against Washington State. I, I was down on the Pac 10. Or Pac-12 or whatever it's called. Like it's got called nothing now. It's a Pac-2. Um, I, there was, you, I wasn't looking at better Oregon at all. SEC, yeah. I mean, you could, uh, Tennessee looks good. I mean, listen, Auburn should, should win tomorrow. But the um, Kentucky game, obviously not – not all that great, you know. It's not a not a good look for uh, Kentucky there. Um, you have again. It's it's a top heavier league, right? So South Carolina was looked at as a fake most of the season. Mississippi State okay. were they good? Okay, so you beat Tennessee. Some teams beat a team. I don't think Mississippi State was all that. You know, but you had what? Four teams play. Three of them lose. Two of them were, well, one was a, a sizable favorite. One was like a pick them kind of favorite. Of both, I guess Mississippi State and South Carolina were like, State was always a dog of one, but it was such a toss up that. But do you think you get one of them? No, you lost both. You also toss up Mississippi State and you also toss up South Carolina. And Tennessee was a two seed. So, yeah, they, they should have won by 20 points. Big stuff for tomorrow, though. Right? What's on the agenda? Are you going to have, um, I think Auburn rolls. Uh, Florida is basically going to pick them. Nebraska to AM is basically going to pick them. And Alabama is a 10 point favorite team that gives up. Oh, they 90 points. Yeah, Kentucky, Mississippi, South Carolina, FU to roll. Oh boy, Peter Puck saying to roll in game one. Listen, Peter, I I'll just take a win. I mean, I gotta pick them here. I got I got minus 134. I just want to win for Atlantic. They got exposed as King D. Did they really though? I mean, Mississippi State, you think that's they were a dog. 
South Carolina game was a minus one pick them plus one kind of again a toss up. The Kentucky game is a bad spot. I'm not I'm not saying they were exposed. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to see more like because we have the pickums tomorrow, right? We have two one and a halves kind of lines. But I'm with you. I think Charleston could cover that game against a team that gives up a bunch of points. Although I think Auburn, if Auburn plays some kind of close game and the other guys, it may, it have like a two and two kind of day tomorrow. Uh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> right? It doesn't look good. Gators tomorrow versus uh, Colorado against the Pac 12. I'll tell you what. They, they better beat that team. <laughs> you better beat that team. But, but And honestly here, I think people forget, wasn't Colorado a top 25 team like to start the year? I thought, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm thinking Colorado State. But I thought they were thought of as a good team to start. And then they had like a big three game losing streak. And then it was like they were just off the charts. And then they come back and have won what? One, two, three, four, five, six in a row in a regular season. Two in the thing, lose to Oregon in a close one. I had Colorado that game too, by the way. I might, I might take Colorado tomorrow, Pete. Kentucky was shocking. They lose a game. Actually, let's look at it this way Oakland won a game with a guy having a historic night shooting, and they still barely hung on. Talent is great, and it almost got him a win. you got to be able to coach a little bit, though. FAU wins by six plus. Oh, I hope so. I'm, I like FAU. I, I think they were um, not over – I don't say they're overvalued. Maybe, maybe overhyped people just – Jumping on them because they were a Final Four team and have big inflated lines during the year, and now everybody wants to get you because you were an elite team last year out of the blue. So I think they took lumps, but they're still experienced bunch. I, th I think they should win. I mean, I bet them they better win. Florida Center's hurt. Yeah, mine. It was he, but he wasn't really a huge contributing factor to that team. You know, I mean, what he broke his leg or whatever. What happened in that game? Is that is that the one we're talking about? Where he rolled his foot? I forgot the cat's name. I mean, you lose you lose a bunch of rebounds. It hurts. Definitely hurts losing rebounds. Points, guys, someone's will always shoot. The rebounds are style play-wise, they were exposed. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, come on. Your style of play is I'm going to run up and down the court. You know, Kentucky scores 90 a game sometimes. And I am um, – tell me Kentucky plays a close game and, 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 and pulls one out by that score. I'm not shocked. Losing outright. Uh, people love Kampari. He could recruit. Do you think they? Do you think they want more than a first round exit and 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 twenty wins during the regular season? Do you think they want to get back to a Final Four? The fans. I mean, I, they'll never fire him. I mean, how do you fire a guy who wins twenty five games a year or whatever they do? You know, what is your twenty three and eight? Their coaching change in hand. They'll still have a lot about Kevin McCullough go back and watch the presser. Yeah, I see. I saw your video. I think I was driving, obviously, when that came up. I don't like I don't like Kansas next round either. I'll go against them again. I'm on AM myself, says King D. Yeah. I'll, well, see with with this game here. Uh Obviously, I'm high on Utah State because of my feelings towards the Mountain West. I think the Mountain West was a tough league.
but then you see something today and how they're playing, and I'm like, oh boy. Um, or you know what? I apologize. That's the TCU game. That's not A and M. A and M's A and M was against uh, who did they play A and M today? Hold on. I thought you're talking about TCU and Utah State, but you're talking A and M. What else, Texas A? Why can't I find Texas A now? Against Nebraska. Where is the game? Where is the Nebraska game? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. All right. So you know we've had Nebraska a few times in here. A and M had the what? The losing they lost four in a row, lost by 20. Then all of a sudden, they reel a couple in a row. See, I want that. I get it because I think this is the same reason why I had freaking South Carolina. You know, I think a conference is better. You play better teams. You kind of, you know, build off that, like, whatever, iron sharpens iron kind of nonsense. I don't hate it here against Nebraska. Imposter Kentucky. Well, I'm not good. Grand Canyon seems like a McFleece. <laughs> I, you know, as much as I had my Nevada, my uh, McNeese and my Sanfords or, you know, like a Madison type doggies, I did not play Canyon because I think that would be the doggiest, the trendiest dog for folks because of uh, they got the one kid who's like an NBA type player. That's he's going to be the best guy in the court for them. For either team. But I don't know, man. Something tells me Mary's. It, I want to take it. I, I want to say under in this game, too. I think it's, this will be an ugly one. Well, we've seen some ugly ones. Peter says Micah Handelog was a Florida kid. Yeah. I mean, the guy just like eight rebounds a game. It's a big loss. I had a guy who was out for Florida only averaged 19 minutes per game. Yes. The uh, the big guy. That's fine. The problem is that he's a, you know, gets seven rebounds a game. He, he get rebounds. I mean, so he, he, 19 minutes, a guy has 6.7 rebounds in 19 minutes. Imagine if he played a little bit more. He'd be like a double-double guy in college. Uh, it's not really a starter. Should be fine. I don't. See, so yeah, whatever. I mean, I think you lose rebounds in college basketball. That's that's a problem. No. I mean, maybe I got the wrong stats here. I'm looking at a guy who averages six points and seven rebounds a game. Micah hand. Maybe somebody pull it up. I'm seeing that he averages five point nine points and seven point three rebounds. I mean, seven something rebounds is pretty good. Uh, you have Texas A&M in the chat money line. Yes, I'm. I'm just. Uh, I was confused there, King D, with the Nebraska game. I was thinking it was Utah State. That's why I was like, "Where is it?" I couldn't find. It. I was looking at the at the TCU game versus them. And I've, like I said, I've had Nebraska a few times. I, I kind of like the team. Where are the comments? What is happening here? Oh, my goodness. I love Trump. Do you have a lean with the Clemson-New Mexico game? I have more than a lean. I like New Mexico. I got New Mexico minus 145, which is a giant number for me to like. UAB, Duke, Duke under. Houston first half team. I really like this Houston team total first half. I think that game, I'm telling you, 55-17 at the half. And there's the A&M. I was looking his last time before he got hurt, 2.6 rebounds and 2.6 points and 6 rebounds. I see, I think, but I think rebounding is important. 
Rebounding is uh, no one likes to do the dirty work. How many guys average six rebounds a game? Not many. Yeah, I was totally. I was to, again. I was like lost on the TCU. I thought it was Utah. There, I thought they're playing T, uh, bleh, Utah State. I came and talk. Uh, New Mexico minus fifty-five points. They're gonna whoop those guys. They don't belong on dance. Clemson. Who? New Mexico minus fifty-five points. Really groovy. There's Ninja. How bad's Colorado State today? I saw at one point. I said they had 11 points. It was 14 to 11, and I'm like, all right, so they're down 10 at the half, whatever, down 24 11. As be, you think they're going to shoot a little better after scoring 11 points. Texas didn't do that much better. It was 24 11. 24 11. But yeah, uh, but listen, this is why am I worried about New Mexico and Utah State tomorrow when. Colorado State does that, and Nevada blows a 17-point lead. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't uh, worried about those bets based on how uh, that the other teams in our conference played. It's terrible. It's terrible. Groovy's coming in with NBA first basket, Kate Cunningham, plus $8. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Groovy. I love it. The first basket. The first basket. Scott LaRock. DJ Scott LaRock is checking in on Facebook. A lot of you people don't know who DJ Scott LaRock is. I speak very deeply. 305 Kane says, so Dave Porno and Barstool made a $600,000 bet on UConn with it all. Yeah. I mean, this guy, <laughs> this guy could get this down. I tried to put a $50 bet in on a. A, a live three hundred and eighty dollar money line. I couldn't get fifty bucks in. But this guy could get that six hundred grand. It's freaking it's ridiculous, ridiculous. Kenny says, "Be blessed, everybody. Always keep God first. There you go, fella. You need to, King D. Good seeing you, my friend. Go get some sleep. Hope the little ones are growing. And I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know. You know, we'll see about the midday my show. I got. I'll be live on another channel tomorrow." Ninja says Mountain West is a curse. <laughs> you can see, curse. No, I mean, not they're cursed. Do they have it? Maybe they're just bad. Maybe they're bad. Maybe I was wrong. I love this conference all year. It was just a bunch of good, solid teams. We yet to come here. Maybe they're just bad matchups. I don't know what it is, but it's terrible. I mean, Nevada, zero excuse for Nevada. You want to have a bad shooting day, Colorado State. Uh, Colorado State. I could, I could almost. That's fine. Everybody sees you have a great game the night before. People jump on you. Oh, you know, Texas wasn't all that great, but come on, man. Too bad. What is that? What is that? Uh, Groovy says, I hope New Mexico shocks the world and beats UConn. Dave Portnoy goes crying, blaming the and starts with a lawsuit. That would be funny. That would be funny if they beat UConn. Nevada coach stinks. Not a big Steve Alfred fan. Huh? Ninja. Imagine taking under 134 over Oregon, South Carolina. That didn't turn out well. He had the under in the uh, South Carolina game. Let's see how that was. 87-73. Big second half of points. Well, I mean, I think you're probably in trouble in the first half when there was... Who took that though? Why would you just bring up random? Did you have did you have the over? Who had the under that you brought that up? Or would you just think take the under because it's South Carolina as a defense? I like South Carolina because I thought the defense would do something. Apparently, they didn't. They didn't do anything. Oh, uh, Ninja took you under 34 hours. I was like, why did you say that? I was hoping, you know, I wasn't hoping you had it, but the fact you brought it up, I was thinking you were either on one side or the other. My dictum. Finesse in them. Oh, finesse in them. I get it. Finesse in them. Nice. 
Thoughts on Marmara's Duke and Chance for a surprise win? I don't think so. I don't think so. In fact, I have Duke and the under here because I think Duke just wins this game like 70 to 50 or something like that. Uh, sign me up, Duke and the under. 34 29 first half. You're looking pretty good there at 62 points. But you give up 50 in the second half. Tommy Bo, oh, Kansas up 21 and blew it. Yeah, I mean, forget about almost blowing it. They blew the cover if you had Kansas. You're, th you're thinking you're safe. Um, I I understand the pain if you had Kansas minus points because I had Nevada. Nevada at, at a pick them to, to blow a 17-point lead. So I, I know about blowing leads. Frustrating, to say the least. The Ducks. Plus five and eight like Oregon on uh, Saturday. Where are the Ducks against Creighton? I kind of like the over in that game, Peter. I like the over. Finessing them. I'm going in tomorrow with one wrong and have Vermont winning. That's why I'm asking you. You only, you only got one wrong in your bracket? Good work. Good work. Hey, listen. Anything is possible. We've seen Duke kind of blow a game. I mean, just because you have the better team doesn't mean you win. Hello, Kentucky. I just think, uh, for me, Vermont, same like Colgate this year, I just don't think they're kind of their vintage kind of teams that they've had in the past where they surprise a Power 5 team during the year and maybe battle here. I don't know. I think – Duke is off a bad loss. It wasn't like they lost a championship game. Uh, I think they come out and they get a full high we're here, especially after you watch Kentucky go down. They're, these other teams will be like, whoa, all right. Um, let's get back on track. Thomas Bo had Kansas up 21. I, I get it. I'm with you. I just had a different team. Insert a different team name, blowing a big lead. Arizona minus nine over Dayton. I'm hoping to get a 10, and I'll look to take Dayton there. I want I want more points. I don't know if I want to lay 10 with Arizona. And I have Arizona winning it all in my bracket. I finish them. Uh, BYU screwed me. I had the Kentucky upset. Yeah, the BYU game, and that was the thing with BYU. They could shoot the lights out. I like the under in that game. I ended up not playing it. I don't know why. Probably because I'm a loser. And I, I whatever reason, I didn't play it. Tough loss there, but come on. You got the uh, Oakland nice big win there for you. One loss isn't bad for this one. Don't complain about one loss in the first round. I had Nevada too. Yeah, correct. terrible, Thomas. You had Nevada and, and Kansas laying today? Oh, boy. That's almost like take a day off. That's like take a day. If you had Drake, too, it's a trifecta of pain. Uh, bet against all Mount West teams in the NCAA. I'm pretty sure he will come out positive. Yeah, Dinja, I'm, I'm, I told you. I got a couple games tomorrow. I'm like, ugh. I got Marquette versus Arizona in my bracket. I don't hate those teams. I love Trump. Would you rather roll James Madison first half a full game? I got him full game, and I got a bad number of four and a half. I'm rolling it. I'm, I'm taking them. If you want, if you're going to take dogs, I think first halves are probably the way to go, right? I mean, forget about them upsetting or coming back and covering games. But it, for them to come all the way back is a rarity. Like they're dogs for a reason. You're going up against a bigger school. The lead will just grow most of the time. You know, same for so no Quinn came all the way back. You know, we saw other teams just kind of go through the motions. Um, I would do both. Why don't you do a? I do both. If, if you're going to do that, obviously you're, you, you're available to action. And if you hit one, you could always jump in live and doing something else. If it's going sour, uh, finessing them. Any dark horse that you think has a chance of making a championship? I guess besides the number one seeds. Um, it's you know, I, I like Creighton. But they're what a three seed. I think Auburn could surprise. I have Auburn. I have Auburn, Creighton, Arizona, and 
Houston in my final four. So if you consider a three or four seed a, a dark horse, we need something deeper than that. I don't I mean, I won't even know. I mean, it seemed like who's going on? Michigan State going on tomorrow? But if you consider a four seed as a, a, a dark horse, uh, James Madison, money line first half. I like it, Peter. Why they put Purdue in an easy bracket schedule? <laughs> I, I think that's an easy bracket myself. And I know that Duke has teams that won conference tournaments, not necessarily – the conference in a regular season, you can say, well, UAB wasn't that good, or um, who else is over there? You got the Ohio. Oh, 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 had the order, sorry. Um, you have a, I mean, you got Auburn. You got the Michigan State, no, FAU one. Illinois conference tournament winner, Iowa State. I mean, that's a stacked conference tournament winners and then Purdue it's like and I guess I mean Iowa State was considered the worst two seed and they actually play defense well, we'll see how Purdue do does I think they win tomorrow though finesse them I've NC State making a far run feel like they might surprise me see I thought they were getting knocked out today they had a nice run in the tournament you upset Duke you, you knocked off North Carolina, who well, yeah, they were locked into the one seed. I know it was a rivalry game. I did not think they'd come out all pumped up. I thought this was going to be a flat spot and, you know, your 17 and 15 record or whatever the heck you were, 20 and 12. What, were, what was their record this year? Seventeen and fourteen. I mean, good luck. I mean, I get teams get hot and they surprise. That's not a team I would. I'd rather pencil in Auburn upsetting a team like UConn, who's awesome, than taking NC State. But again, I was wrong today, so don't listen to me. Purdue versus gambling. Come on. Purdue should win this game. I hope gambling wins. <laughs> gambling always wins. Uh, no doubt Purdue's winning tomorrow. <laughs> I love this guy. Okay. Purdue is having fairly ridiculous nightmares. Can't like we have to do them dirty. That's, listen, I've said this about Purdue. They they'll take care of this team. The next team they play, another Power Five kind of school. Whatever it is, they if they don't handle handle gambling, they're in trouble. But how do they respond in this game, the next round or whenever? And if it's I mean if it's here tomorrow, it's tomorrow. When it's close and they're down a little bit or they're up by two and the game's getting late because you damn well know that the fans are going to be all over whoever the Boilermakers are playing. That's where I want to see their mental. That's that's the mental makeup of this team. And that's where the, oh, man, we choked before is going to come into play with the extra pass, dribbles, doing something stupid, getting caught in a trap in the corner. That's where they're going to mess up. That's what's going to happen. Peter says under Madison and Wisconsin, 145 and a half. Um, I don't know. I, I, I kind of like the over. I like the over. Matt Peter's a struggle. Is he okay? Excuse me for yawning, Ninja. Excuse me for yawning. Well, I, th I think, again, uh, first game should be all right. Second game's the tougher one. Boiler makers or boiler fakers. We know, Ninja. We know they are per doo doo. They're not Purdue. They're per doo doo. Right, I got to get some sleep here. Oh, boy. It's good. 2 a.m. UAB tomorrow plus seven. Duke minus 11.5. Duke under 132. Houston first half team total over 37.5. Texas AM plus a 110 piece. So there's that. Um, Tomorrow, um, probably just a late night show. I'll be following on Twitter, Mr. Sean Higgs. You'll see me live. Uh, I'll be doing a show with Jimmy probably in the morning, going over some games. So you don't want to miss out on that. Have a good night. Get some rest. 
one day down. You got three more ahead of us for a big weekend. And I'm out of here. Thanks for tuning in.